The Game Boy Advance Fire Emblem games are really disappointing, or at least that's what I've been saying for quite a long time at this point. So long, in fact, that I can't really give concrete reasons as to why I dislike the games anymore. So, this begins my journey to decide for certain how I feel about these games, so please join me as I play FE6, 7, and 8 on the channel. We'll be starting with FE7 and then moving to FE6 this month. Uh... Now, there's things that I do remember disliking, but I, I feel like I need to really play the games again to have a, a better feeling on why I dislike these things. And these things that I remember, like poorly displayed info, you know, not being able to see certain uh, stats very well or uh, having to move through multiple pages of a unit's status screen to see important things. Um, namely, that like con and weapon weight are a huge pain. To, to deal with and I might be wrong but I don't remember there being an attack speed stat displayed on screen anywhere so that's kind of annoying but if that was just displayed somewhere very easily that would be just like the best and make it super easy for me to not care about common weapon weight as like stats that are on separate screens that I have to like remember and check uh, and to my recollection the maps all fell pretty bland and the story isn't memorable either i'm not gonna be focusing on the story because i know it i don't really care all that much to read it again we're gonna be skipping that as we play through it on the channel uh obtuse requirements for guidance are i guess we call them paralogs now were a huge problem for me you know like playing through fe6 for the first time i didn't get the true ending i don't think i think most people don't get a true the true ending in fe6 playing through the for the first time unless they use like a guide or something so my first playthrough ended with a killing the the pseudo final boss and you know it's that's cool until you find out that there's a bunch of there's a, so a significant extra bit of content after that uh, especially that ties up the story if you care for that kind of stuff so obtuse requirements for guidance or again paralogs i guess we call them now uh is a huge uh, turnoff for me but maybe since, since i know them now maybe it'll be less of an issue i don't know and the music while good in most instances gets really repetitive i'm talking like the early game of fe6 is just like oh my gosh please pick a different song uh i, I also think fe8 falls into this problem and so does of course fe7 in at points i think fe7 is like the least egregious i think it switches up the map theme enough for it to be less annoying the only time that i really get kind of annoyed with the the map theme in FE7 uh, is just uh, Lin's Lin story, but I don't know. I haven't played Lin's story in a while, so I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll play Lin's story on hard mode or something, so we can skip all this tutorial stuff. But I still don't want to play it because it still sucks. I don't know. Now nah, we'll probably skip Lin mode, but yeah. So we're gonna be playing that on the channel. We're gonna be playing FE7, then FE6, then FE8 uh, over the next couple months, and we're gonna be making videos on them kind of get my feelings and thoughts on them and really try to like nail down why I dislike or maybe why I like these games. Maybe my opinion will change with a fresh fresh perspective, a fresh replay because it has been um it's it's been a long time since I've played these games start to finish. Just sat down and really played these games. Uh I, I tend to find myself playing, you know, uh, Echoes, Fates, Three Houses, uh, Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn, or, or even Genealogy of the Holy War and 3C776, a lot more than I do these games. So, yeah, the GBA games, tell me why you like them in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I know they're really popular with many fans. Uh, so please tell me why you like them in the comments. Maybe tell me why you dislike them. I don't know. Just, like, give your different perspectives, things that you like, dislike, and we'll talk about them on stream when we play the games. Uh, so I, I do have a, a new stream schedule that i'm going to uh, do my best to follow from here on out uh, for the foreseeable future at the very least and we'll be streaming um tuesdays thursdays and saturdays at 1 p.m pacific time now that's subject to change and if it does change i'll announce it in the discord or something but we should be streaming three days a week and then the days we don't stream i'm going to be trying to upload videos so we're looking to uploads on sunday monday uh Wednesday and Friday. That's just, uh, I kind of want to put something on the channel every day. I want to get back to being good at this, but we'll see if it actually happens. So uh, I'm telling you guys to hopefully maybe keep myself accountable a little bit. Keep me accountable. I don't know. Ping me, ping me in the FED discord. If, uh, <laughs> if I don't post things, yell at me. 
and I keep, keep me uh, keep me going because I, I would really like to, to keep this channel moving forward and, and hopefully reach like 25,000 subs by the end of the year. So uh, about 9,000 subs away. If we can get that by the end of 2022, I'd be pretty happy. So that's my goal. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Again, share your thoughts and comments, uh, and I will read them. Maybe I'll even respond to some. It would be great. And hopefully I'll catch you on some of our streams where we'll be playing uh, the GBA Fire Emblem games. And then we'll also, we'll also play some other stuff uh, after we play those. You know, we'll play, I don't know, I'm really into One Step from Eden, uh, Dead Cells right now. And uh, actually Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky is one that I've started playing. So I might, I might stream that too if, we, if I have time. But yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you next time.